Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the second annual Injury Prevention Center Research Symposium. I'm Dr. Patrick Carter. I'm the director of the University of Michigan Injury Prevention Center, and I'm an associate professor of emergency medicine within the University of Michigan Medical School. And thank you for joining us this year. The Injury Prevention Center has organized this event today to share uh, our evidence-based research on injury prevention to facilitate new collaborations and to explore new ideas in injury prevention. The theme for today's symposium is using technology to advance injury prevention, surveillance, interventions, and training. I'm tremendously excited to share that more than 525 people have registered to join us today virtually to hear from our seven outstanding faculty researchers at the center and to engage with our 28 abstract session presenters from around the world. At our last count of registrations, we have attendees who are joining us today from over 29 states, 35 countries, and about 270 organizations and institutions. We welcome you all today uh, to share in the evidence-based solutions to prevent the devastating toll of injury throughout our nation and across the world. Before we begin, I'd like to give you a little bit of background on our center. The University of Michigan Injury Prevention Center is one of the nine CDC-funded injury prevention centers throughout the nation. These centers focus on addressing urgent injury-related issues with research, education, and outreach. We seek to advance the field of injury science through research that identifies evidence-based solutions, outreach to provide technical assistance to injury prevention practitioners in the community, and to disseminate and translate evidence-based research into practice as well as increase the training and pipeline of injury prevention researchers and practitioners throughout the country. The overall mission of the center is to conduct, translate, and accelerate injury prevention research into practice and policy, and to reduce the burden of injuries across the Great Lakes region and the United States. We have over a thousand members from 35 institutions and faculty leadership from more than 27 different departments across the university. The center brings together many disciplines to focus in the area of injury prevention. While we cover many different injury related topics, we have a particular focus in several areas, including opioid overdose prevention, suicide, violence prevention, sports related concussion, motor vehicle crash prevention, older adult falls, global injury, and we have several emerging areas, especially around adverse childhood events. Our three cores, including our research core, outreach, and our education core, all focus and work occurring across these different areas. Before we begin our day, I wanted to run through some of the resources that our center offers and has available through our website. The first is our massive open online courses. We have two offerings, uh, our Child and Adolescent Injury Prevention MOOC, uh, which was uh, developed, uh, has recently been updated and how we have released with new content. The new content in 2021 includes modules on firearm safety, health inequities, ACEs, and drowning prevention. We have CMEs available for the course, uh, which uh, cover a number of different specialties and are available for practitioners, uh, researchers, and education uh, uh, alike. We are excited uh, about the new features in this, in this course, and we invite you to uh, go to our website and access the course and uh, learn about child malice and injury prevention. The other massive open online course that we've recently developed is one focused on opioid overdose prevention. This is a six module course that is focused solely on helping non-prescribing providers address the opioid uh, crisis. This course is called Impacting the Opioid Crisis Prevention, Education, and Practice for Non-Prescribing Providers. This is a collaboration between uh, the U of M Injury Prevention Center, Michigan Open, and the Center for Academic Innovation, as well as the Institute for Healthcare Policy and Innovation. Through lectures by faculty experts, uh, learners can learn about evidence-based strategies uh, for prevention, intervention, education, and policy. This course also offers a number of AMA uh, category one CME certificates for physicians and nurses, as well as social work and pharmacy credits. You can learn more about both of these MOOCs by visiting our website, and uh, this can take you through the links to, uh, to access the course materials. I also want to highlight our internship opportunities. We've recently released our call for intern placements for this uh, upcoming summer and we're now accepting student applications and placement opportunities. Each summer, we offer paid positions for graduate and upper level undergraduate students 
to gain mentored research or practice-based experience in the field of in injury prevention. If you'd like to apply to be an intern or are interested as a faculty member in hosting an intern this summer, please visit our website to learn about these injury uh, internship opportunities. It's a wonderful opportunity and our interns over the past several years have really enjoyed the experience. And so I encourage all who are interested to apply. Also like to highlight our certificate in injury science program. This uh, certificate is available to all University of Michigan graduate level students and offers an opportunity to engage students in coursework that focuses on enhancing their knowledge and competencies in injury prevention science. The program offers exposure to multiple disciplines, theoretical perspectives and cutting edge methodologies to build a strong foundation in injury prevention science uh, and skills. The program requires 12 to 13 credit hours of coursework and includes a practicum component that's available to both MPH and Masters of Public Health and non-Masters of Public Health students at the university. It's another exciting opportunity from our center that we have built up over the past several years uh, and is a great opportunity for students to engage in the field. I'd also like to highlight our Michigan Safer Opioid Prescribing Toolkit. And I encourage you to go to the website that's listed here on the slide to learn about um, to learn about the uh, resources available in this toolkit. This is uh, initially was developed as a, as a clinical resource for providers, but has been uh, recently expanded to include uh, resources on prescribing guidelines, non-opioid uh, pain management options, ways to reduce stigma around opiate uh, use and opiate overdose, uh, conversations with patients and uh, others in the community, best practices uh, around prevention of opiate overdose and substance use disorder, and really does have and includes a focus on special populations uh, uh, that are at risk. The uh, website also has uh, several new resources that have been added recently, and including a post overdose uh, section for emergency department providers, uh, resources for teachers and coaches, and recently uh, the new addition of a guide on best practices in providing telehealth around substance use prevention. I encourage you to visit the website and explore all that the toolkit has to offer. I'd also like to highlight our system for opioid overdose surveillance. This is a web-based tool that we've developed in, consul, uh, in concert with uh, others around the university, as well as uh, with our state health department and our partners in uh, law enforcement to develop a real-time opioid overdose uh, surveillance system. This system allows uh, for public health practitioners to identify hotspots of opioid overdoses that are occurring and to direct uh, needed and uh, often um, uh, scarce resources to help uh, prevent opioid overdose. We've recently included several additional features to the interactive dashboard uh, that allows uh, for public health practitioners to more effectively utilize this data to direct uh, public health resources. We're continuing to expand our coverage and at the current point have over 80% of the state of Michigan covered uh, in terms of data, and uh, that's allowed us to really expand our work, especially through a relationship with practitioners in the community to prevent opiate overdoses occurring throughout the state of Michigan. Please visit the link on this slide to learn more about this system. Thinking a little bit about our work in motor vehicle crash injury prevention, we have a program called Checkpoints, uh, which is for training newly independent teen drivers in safe driving methods. And it's an intervention that they can co-access um, uh, with their parents to learn about risks for teen, new risks for teen drivers, as well as ways to increase their exposure and uh, skills uh, attainment in driving over time. Checkpoints is designed to help them learn to drive safely. And it includes a mix of instructional animated videos, evidence-based research and intervention uh, that teaches parents about driving risks and how to use the site to work with their teen to acquire the skills they need. We are really excited to share that we've recently uh, expanded our work um, beyond our partners in Michigan to also include uh, partnerships in Tennessee, Kentucky, and Texas, allowing us to expand the use of this tool uh, that's available through our Injury Prevention Center. I'd also invite everyone who's attending the conference today to become a member of our Injury Prevention Center. Uh, membership comes with lots of opportunities, including an uh, ability to opt in to receive regular newsletters and special emails about events, such as the research symposium we're having today, as well as 
uh, new publications and new research findings and new resources that come out from the center. Uh, membership also allows folks to apply for training opportunities, including our internship program over the summer, as well as to be uh, a named uh, um, practitioner on our website uh, and to highlight the work that they're doing in their communities around injury prevention. This is a great opportunity for undergraduate or master's level students, as well as practitioners and faculty uh, working across the university, the state of Michigan and in our community. The membership is free. The application doesn't take very much time at all. You can scan the QR code here on the, on the site or go to our injury prevention website and uh, access the application for applying for a membership. Before we begin with our presentations, I wanted to quickly review the agenda today so everyone's aware of the uh, planned activities. Uh, in a little bit here, um, we will start with our keynote address. Our keynote speaker today is Dr. Ken Resnikow, who is the Erwin Rosenstock Professor of Health Behavior and Health Education at the University of Michigan School of Public Health. Following this uh, talk, we will then have six of our faculty uh, give flash science presentations on their cutting edge research work in injury prevention. These presentations will span a series of injury related topics from concussion to older adult falls, suicide prevention to opiate overdose prevention. As a note, all of our presentations were pre recorded to limit any potential technical difficulties we may have, but the presenters will be available following their talks to answer questions uh, and uh, that, that portion of the day will be live. We encourage you to type any questions you have for speakers in the Q&A box, and then those will be transmitted to the MC, who for the beginning of the morning is myself, and in the afternoon is our Associate uh, Director of the Center, Dr. Maureen Walton, and we will be uh, looking at those Q&A questions and uh, asking our presenters uh, in, in real time um, your questions. After the keynote and the flash science presentations from our faculty, we'll have an abstract session uh, we have four concurrent abstract sessions that you can see here, one focused around opioids and overdose prevention, one around suicide prevention, one around violence and adverse childhood events, and one that's uh, focused on cross-cutting injury prevention topics. To access the abstract uh, session, Zoom webinars, you'll need to click the link for the session that you want to attend. The links can be found right on the event page that you're watching currently, just below the video player. We have posted the agenda and all of the abstracts on our website so that you can review them and decide which session you would like to attend. Feel free to skip around between the sessions in the different rooms and attend the uh, abstracts that you're most interested in. The entire day, including each of the abstract sessions is also being recorded. So if you miss, miss a section and would wanna watch it later, you will definitely have that opportunity. I would also uh, call your attention to the program that's available on the website. In the program, you will be able to read the biographies of all of the speakers, see the agenda that's up here on the slide, and the list of presentations in today's sessions. If you have any questions or technical difficulties throughout the day, please email the U of M Injury Center at umich.edu. Um, lastly, uh, we will send out, as we always do, an evaluation survey shortly after the event. So please let us know what's worked, what doesn't, doesn't work. This is our second virtual, uh, virtual research symposium, our third virtual conference, and we're constantly trying to make improvements to make this a more enjoyable experience for all of those attending. Uh, for those who are requesting a certificate of attendance or continuing education credits, uh, you need to attend throughout the day today and complete the evaluation survey in order to receive those uh, those um, CME credits. We have uh, AMA category uh, one credits, Michigan social work and chess credits available for learners. All right, uh, it's my pleasure to be the uh, moderator for the first half of the afternoon and I will be uh, uh, introducing both the keynote and the first half of the flash science uh, sessions. <laughs> 